Hey, what's going on? You know, it's the new channel. The first video. So new. We gotta start off with a banger. You know what I'm saying? Before I really get into the video, um, bro, if we could hit 1,000 subscribers before the middle of August, yo, that was lit. And you're probably like, yo, why you got 600 subs with one video? And this is the one video. I gotta explain myself. Hold on, relax, relax. So basically, I used to have a whole bunch of other videos when I was little, I was young, it was, they were, they were embarrassing, like, I have them privated, you know, if I want to show my family members so I can have a, a quick laugh, but I'm not having those public, I'm sorry, I never will, like, it, it's too embarrassing. Alright, so basically, you know, I want to bang her for the first video, so I'm going to be doing a story time, how, basically, my school lunch got poisoned or contaminated with something that is not good, or should not be eaten. So I'm in sixth grade and it's the beginning of the year. And you know, sixth grade, like that's the beginning of middle school for me at least. And you know, that's how it is everywhere else, I think. There's some other places where it's not. It's the beginning of middle school, so you know, I'm trying to like, like, you know, adapt to the new thing. Like, bro, I'm telling you, for the first two weeks of school, I was always late to advisory class. You do not know why. Like, I would walk inside the school, my mind would go blank. I would forget everything about like, everywhere around the building I was forgetting and it was like a whole maze just to get to advisory by the time I got there but we was already leaving to the first class like come on now so in the beginning of the year like I guess it was the first year that did it but they gave us Chromebooks and that was lit that was lit my friend that was lit and you know they gave us a little bag too so you could carry around and you know when you get a new bag there's like them, them salts like you know what I'm talking about you know, you get them in your backpack, there's like that white packet of salt, and you usually throw them away, or if you're stupid, you open them and you look at it, like, I don't know. I don't know why you would look at it, it's something interesting. So, remember, keep that, you know, them salt, I don't know why I said, did I say Epsom salt? I think I did, but just remember them salts, so, you know, for your bag, just keep that in mind throughout the video. So, we had lunch, and basically how lunch would work, it was, there was lunch A, lunch B, lunch C, 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, and you would get two days without lunch until... You know, it was switched, so if you had lunch A, you was going to lunch B. If you had lunch C, you was dropping to lunch A. So basically how it was going was 8th grade had lunch A, and then 6th grade had lunch B. So lunch B, it was a split class, so like you... Have you heard that? <laughs> so lunch B, like it was a split class, so you know, you have 25 minutes of, you know, your first class, you go to lunch come back and finish it. You know the deal? Boom, boom, boom. Bro, I don't want to interrupt, but I look mad tired. Like, you keep the bag under my eyes? Like, bro. Bro, it's bad. I don't know why. I'm gonna look ugly this whole video. It's whatever. It don't matter. I'm still cute, bro. <laughs> you know, it's split, you know, lunch, lunch B. And, you know, it's a normal lunch. Like, that day, they were serving tacos. And with the tacos, like, you know, they would have, like, a, another another area for like your fruits. Like it was still on the lunch line, but you know, you had your fruits, your salad, and then you had this like thing of cheese. So you know, it's a normal lunch, you know. You know, it's just a normal lunch. People getting the cheese for their tacos. I didn't, like, bro, like, you know, people was doing that. Like they was just having fun, like, not fun, but you know, you get some cheese for your tacos, cause the tacos was dry. Like, I don't know why you would eat the tacos without the cheese, cause bro, it's like, it's like eating a cereal without the milk. Come on now, like you don't do that. So you know it's a it's a normal lunch, like nothing's really going on. And I noticed at the end of the day, I see a whole bunch of people complaining about their stomach hurt. And then I'm like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Like everybody, like is a stomach bug? Like is there a virus going on? Like is it the zombie apocalypse? So they're like, oh no, there's something in the in the cheese. They found they found the Chromebook bag so it's in the cheese. I'm like, oh shoot, oh shoot, and it's the end of lunch so people are going to like they're going to the nurse so i'm like i mean it's the end of the day so might as well just try to leave now while i can like bro i'm about to take this dub like if i leave now it's the whole w right there so you know i'm like oh i ate i ate the, I ate the tacos too i didn't i didn't all right i did not have no tacos because i knew they was dry from the beginning i was not trying to get that i had a chicken patty like like basically how it would work, like, you know, they would have like, the special lunch and then they'll have the other basic stuff like, you know, that you have there every day, like pizza, 
cheese, a cheeseburger, a hamburger, chicken patty, spicy chicken patty. I got a chicken patty that day. It was gross. I dogged it though, like bro. I stayed dogging for lunches. Like I don't care. I do not care if it's made out of rat, horse, piss, dog. I don't care what it's made out of. I dog it, bro. I I be mad hungry for some reason during lunchtime. Like bro, they bet they better be like spraying something in the classrooms that make me mad hungry. Like the sun, bro. I don't know what it is, but I be mad hungry during lunch. Bro. Yeah, I dog my chicken patty, and people was complaining about the cheese. I ain't have no cheese for my chicken patty. Like, what are you stupid? Like, why would you do that? Like, why would I have cheese for my chicken patty? It's just, that's just dumb. Like, there's no reason. So, even though I didn't have the cheese, I still lied. I don't care. I was trying to go home. So, yeah, I was like, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I ate, the, I, ate, I ate the cheese, bro. Like, oh, I'm hurting. I didn't eat the cheese. I went to the lunch a lot. I went to the nurse line. I was chilling there for like 15 minutes. I'm telling you, a good 15 minutes. And since that, I had lunch B. There was still another lunch coming after, so it was seventh grade. So, you know, like all the sixth graders just standing there, like they just came out of war or something, like trying to get like stitched up or something. Like, we was all just chilling there. Me, I know I'm lying. I don't care. I'm still trying to go home. Like, I'm gonna keep saying that. I was trying to go home. I don't care. You know, the seventh graders walking by. They're like, oh, what happened? You okay? I'm like, ah, ain't the sauce, bro. Don't eat it. Don't eat it, man. I ate it. I'm done. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm done. So yeah, I'm, I'm BSing the whole time saying that I ate the sauce and stuff. I ate the cheese. Like, I was just trying to go home. So uh, like, uh, yeah, 15 minutes passed and finally could go to the nurse's office. And you know, Bro, when you, but like I'll, I had my friends in that line, so I'm like, all right, bro, I'll see you. You know, dap them up, quick, quick dap up, bro. And then the officer, he was like the school officer, he was chilling in the in the nurse's office, and he was like, <laughs> you must have planned that out, huh? Like, excuse me, like, is it that big of a deal? Like, why are you so mad that I dap my boy up? Like, bro, is it a big deal? I mean, it's it's not a big deal because it doesn't, doesn't do anything to the story. But it's just something that I wanted to add in there because it's like, it's mad dumb. All right, another thing I gotta tell you. I cannot remember phone numbers for nothing. If you, I can, like, bro, just names of usernames and stuff, I cannot remember them. So if we're ever talking, bro, do not tell me a username and expect me to remember that. Like, bro, you better, better get a tattoo of it on my arm for me to remember it. Because even if I put on a piece of paper, I'm gonna see the piece of paper. I'm gonna throw it away, not even opening it up to see what it is. I'm just gonna throw it away. So I be forgetting everything. And I'm talking about phone numbers here. So I gotta call my mom. And I gotta tell her what's up that I need to go home because, you know, my stomach is about to collapse. Like, my lungs are about to collapse because it's up my stomach. That's, what, that's what's about to happen, basically. So, you know, I forgot the number. For some reason, I remember my dad's number by heart, but I couldn't call my dad because he was, he's a carpenter. So, you know, you know his phone somewhere, not on him. So I gotta call my mom and I tell her straight up, I'm like, I forgot my mom's phone number. And I'm and bro, my nurse be so sassy, like she be doing the most for no reason. And she's like, Well, what if there was an emergency? How would you contact your mother? I'm like, I mean, don't you got my sky route with all my information, my like where I live, like bro, like, you know, it's not all on me. Like, bro, you could do it. Just go on your computer and search my name, bro. I'm not, there's not five billion other me's in the school. Like, bro, you can find the one me. It's like, it's mad easy. Like, you don't gotta, you gotta do the most. Like, bro, okay, you don't gotta remind me. I don't know my mom's number. I just told you. I called my mom. I'm trying to go home, bro. She, she doesn't even pick up. So I'm like, wow, that's an L. Like, I'm like, I asked her, I'm like, the nurse. Like, yo, what am I gonna do now? She's like, well, go back in line, like all sassy, like go back in line and I'll contact her later. I'm like, all right, and I leave. So I'm in the line for like another five minutes till I walk back in. I'm like, yo, what's the deal, yo? I wanna know what's going on now. And she's like, I contacted your mother and nothing's gonna happen, you're gonna be okay. Like, okay, okay, bro, I ju I've just been poisoned poison with your soul. I'm about to die and I'm gonna be okay. Like good looks. Like bro, you're the reason I'm you're the reason I'm gonna die. You're the reason I'm gonna die cause these soaps. Like on my grave I'm gonna I'm gonna have good looks nurse for not not sending me home to the emergency room. 
or something like that. Like, come on now, like, let me go home. So I'm like, wow, that's a bummer. I took an L. I wasted 15,000 years. I mean, that's not really an L because, you know, I took time out of school. But it's still an L because I wasted my time, you know. So at the time, like, 15 classes have passed by. So, like, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll, I'll go to my class I have now. Maybe they're the real ones. Maybe section five is the real ones. They brought my books to the class. They didn't. So now I have to waste my time even more. Walking around like I still have a hurt stomach. Like, I know I didn't, but you know, I'm really trying to play off like I do. So like maybe the principal could be like, oh, you good? You wanna go home? I'm like, yeah. I'm still walking around limping and stuff. Like I just got bit by a zombie or something. Walking around like some freaking walking dead extra. So yeah, I have to go back to my original class, walk in all awkward because there's a whole other class that's staring at me like, you got staring issues, my man? Like, I'm trying to get my books. So like, I'm walking in class, and that class on some, oh, sorry, I don't want, I don't mean to disturb you, but can I get my books? Like, yeah, I'm like, get my books and leave. Why are you students looking at me? It's mad annoying. I hate when that happens. Especially when I come into the class after the bathroom, like, bro, there's, no, there's nothing to worry about. I, I did my business and I left. Like, why are you looking at me? So, you know, I get back into class and I had library class. And something you gotta know about the library, I want y'all to get mad at me for mispronouncing it. Library, there's the library, and then there's, you know, the door, the hallway, and the lunch right over there. So, for some reason, you know, the room has mad windows so you can see the hallway. Like, it makes no sense, but, bro, oh, hold up. Before I get to that, now, now we gotta go back, my fault. But when I went back to get like, you know, looking for my stuff, I guess it was lockers. And they was like, oh, it was you, huh? You, you, you poisoned the cheese. I'm like, my man, you trying to set me up now? Like, bro, you really praying on my downfall now saying that I did this? Like, yo, now you're lying. Now you're lying on my name and that's annoying. I'm not like, no, you did it, huh? I'm like, no, like, let me prove it to you. I, like, bet, prove it to me. My table had went to lunch, like to get our lunch at last. I don't know, but we just did, but we went to go get the lunch at last. How, how I do it? Like, well, you sound dumb now. But now back to you know, the library scene. So you know, I'm chilling in the library. It's mad boring in that classroom, but I'm sorry. I feel like my school's gonna find this video, but library class was so boring, and I'm, ha I'm glad I don't have to take it anymore. Cause that was only a sixth grade thing. So it was so boring, like we was on the like Chromebook doing this like assignments. I never did mine, like bro, by the end of the year I had 55,000 missing assignments for the library, but it didn't really matter, I still passed. But yeah, I'm just like, you know, I was probably looking at YouTube or something because I was always doing that. And I'm, and I hear my principal yelling, bro. And he's with the two eighth graders that they were like, there was the like, you know, the biggest suspects. And he's like, oh! Why would you do that? I'm like, yo, relax. Like, I'm all, I'm not saying anything, but I'm like, looking at everything, like, what the hell is going on? And he's just, bro, he's like, in, he's so mad, bro. Like, bro, I've never seen him this mad. And I felt bad for these eighth graders, cause like, they getting embarrassed because, you know, there's like a freaking other colony of students that are gonna hear this, getting like, you wouldn't bring them to the office of, you know, to talk to them or something. Cause like, bro, I've been in that office, I've been in trouble with like, with the principal and he, I've never seen him yell like that. And bro, I was like, wow. Wow, with my, with my chrome, I'm like, wow. He's yelling around some, tell the truth now. I'm like, yo, relax. And the eighth graders are like looking up on some, all scared, like freaking shaking. I'm like, yo, that's crazy, like, wow. And bro, I'm telling you this story, it got throughout the school so fast, like the seventh graders them seeing us like laying down, and then the eighth graders like talking about the kids getting yelled at, bro. Bro, the school went wild about it, and you know I'm I'm trying to get a little bit of clout, so I'm like, oh yeah, I ate the soul. <sighs> yeah, I'm dying, I'm dying. Like look at me, I ate this, I'm poisoned. And yeah, so you know I got a little bit of clout for the people asking me what happened, you know. I'm trying to like BS, I said I got the tacos. I had a whole chicken patty, still dogged it. Still great, still great food. It's not, but I just be hungry. So yeah, bro, like, 
you know, they got yelled at, you know, the, the, I think them getting yelled at was the last period. So I'm like, wow, I, I'm gonna go home. You know, there's really no reason in, and still defending my case that I need to go home anymore because I'm leaving right now. So yeah, I, you know, I'm walking home from the bus stop, the bus stop, I don't know why I say stop, bus stop. I call my mom, I'm like, yo, mom, yeah, I ate the salt, or like, my stomach is hurting. Bro, I got caught up in a lie, yo. Look, my, my mom was like, yeah, they called the, they called me, and they said they called poison control, and it's not harmful. I'm like, what? It's not harmful. I mean, I didn't eat it, so I didn't know. I'm like, are you sure? Because my stomach is really hurting. And low-key, it was hurting. Probably because I was hungry. I think it was that. I'm always hungry, bro. I don't know. I be eating the most, but I'm still built like Kevin Durant. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm like, what? For real? It's not, it's not, it's not poisonous. And she's like, yeah, it's not poisonous. I'm like, dang, that's crazy. And I hang up the phone and walk home. And I'm like, yo, is the school BSing right now? So I search up on my phone. I'm like, yo, is this really not poisonous? And it's not. So, bro, all that, all of sixth grade, there was about 20 heads in lined up to that nurse. They was all BSing too with me. But I was BSing about even eating the salt. Because they ate the salt. Yeah, they got the salt in the belly. But, yeah. And another problem I got, the next day, kids were still showing up acting like their stomach hurt. Like, what? Like, your stomach doesn't hurt. Like, you pooped it out last night. Like, stop lying. And it does, it's not even poisonous, so why is it hurt? Like, you got kidney stones or something? Like, how you sound dumb? So, yeah, it's really the end of the story time. If it got a little boring, you know, I had some GTA or some, some gameplay that's not mine, you know, playing because I don't want y'all to be bored. I don't know, listen to this video when you're about to go to sleep or something. It can knock you out. I don't know. But yeah, back to that, you know, if I get 1,000 subscribers before the middle of August, I'm gonna jump in a public pool bum naked. Like, bro, I shake on it. Like, hold on. I shake under my man, bro. Y'all be able, if you're gross, you be. If you could do that, I'm jumping in the public pool butt naked. Promise you, I promise you. For the middle of August, do that. I promise you, I'll jump in the pool, public pool butt naked. But you know, I stand up the video. Yo, if you made it this far, you liked the video. If you haven't liked the video, you're stupid. So like the video right now and subscribe too. You know, turn the turn the little bell on, you know. You know, get notified every time a banger comes out. Because this is a banger itself. I don't know. I don't care. I'm tired. My voice sounds tired. You can tell. But it's a banger either way. So, you know, like, subscribe. Let's try to get to 1,000 before the middle of August. 